Shankville is super intense and intriguing. Was there something about Richard Shankman's script or about the movie itself that drew you to be a part of this film? Um, well, actually, Richard and I came up with the story together. Wow. And how we came up with it is because it started out with we needed to make a movie. I wanted it to be a horror film. It had to have a relationship between a mother and her son, her 12 year old son, and the type of relationship where she would go to any lengths to protect her son. Um, and we had a location. We had this amazing winery that is really so beautiful and special in real life, but it has like these really cool, so many old things that make it so creepy, right? So we yeah, went to the location a few times, looking around, walking around and getting inspired and um uh yeah we just went back and forth and came up with this really sick and twisted story <laughs> were you always in mind to star in it then too and direct at the same time yes yeah but I mean I I had Richard with me uh every step of the way you know he's an amazing director he was my mentor through the whole thing he was there hands-on every single day and hands-on every single day in post-production so um, you know, I really share that with him. How hands-on then were you when it came to the casting of this ser of this film? Very hands-on, 100%. Um, yeah, everything came through and, uh, and just when you, we had a gut feeling about somebody went with them. I mean, Mar Margaret, Carolyn Hennessy, uh, <laughs> was just as soon as we saw her audition, like, that's it, that's her. Um, so that was a, a no brainer. Um, the one that was a, a little bit harder to cast towards the end was um, the sheriff, because we actually had hired um, Gary Dordain, uh, Dordan, Dordain, Dordam, um, originally for the role. And then right kind of at the last minute, he had to back out. He had an, uh, a family situation and he lives in Paris. So we had to scramble. We only had, I, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks to cast it. And then finally, uh, we got to see Texas Battles um, audition, which was great and wonderful. And he in the character. And then I have to ask about maybe the more difficult scenes you filmed what was it like for you of course there's the knife scenes you're a little bit tied up <laughs> yeah portions and these things too was there a scene that was maybe harder maybe emotionally for you to so much uh, because a lot of the relationship it's like that's how he and I would be talking you know it's like come on let's go um you know so there was a lot of real um realness between he and I and standing there just hanging on by a thread, you know, on that little stool. So she was freaking out, but I had a, um, you know, like a harness thing on. So I would have been fine regardless, but it still is choking you. You know, you're like, God, it's like really tight. Um, so for her emotionally, that scene was hard, but physically the fight scene between Margaret and I was very difficult, you know, we're ah, and, um, you know, cause you're just flailing and going right. at it you know but um yeah no but there was yeah there was a lot of tough you know we had that fight scene with the guys which was oh my gosh we choreographed it um well I should say Art Camacho did you know wonderful um stunt coordinator but yeah that was tough too there was so much to that I have to ask about the costumes as well because this is set in the 70s uh what was it about this era that made it perfect for the film and did it take you sort of putting on the clothing to find this character for you? Or has she been sitting with you all along since you helped create her? Um, as far as the wardrobe goes, um, and, and making it a uh, 70s film, we had one of Richard's friends actually read the script and he said, are you guys making this a 70s film? And we're like, actually, no, we hadn't thought about that. And he goes, this really, this script lends itself to a, a, an old 70s horror film. And we're like, oh my gosh, that sounds like, that's such a great idea. <laughs> so I went out and, you know, checked on the, um, the cost of how much more it would cost me to then, you know, make this an actual 70s film. And I'm like, I think this is doable. So our uh, costume uh, designer, Natasha, she's like, was all about it. She's like, that's easy. I can get totally do 70s. Um, so 
yes, that was, um, then became, you know, a no, no brainer, which was so much fun and added so many cool elements to the, the film. It's not just, you know, a normal film now, now it's got this really cool element to it. Um, and as far as putting on the clothes, you know, becoming me as a character, um, the clothes, it's so funny because nowadays, you know, everything's kind of, there is so much seventies now, right? Like seventies have come back and <laughs> wearing bell bottoms. I mean, those jeans I was wearing was from a regular store. Like that's just <laughs> shows you how much seventies has come back, but I did have a lot of real vintage things. Um, but throughout the writing process, uh, Richard really, um, you know, he's really good at, at writing for people. And it, it, he wrote it in a way that, that was very natural and flowy for me, which was great. Um, but yeah, anytime you get into costume, you know, then it's like turns it on and, you know, you got your character, but you know, she's a single mom and taking care of a kid and that's me in real life. So, and I'm a tough, badass like mom, like I don't, I'm not soft on these boys. So, and she was like that too. She's like, nope, get your ass up. We're going out to work, you know? And that's how I am in real life too. So that helped. <laughs> Is there a scene that really you captured so well on camera, looking back at it, that you're like, this is even better than we had scripted it out to be? Hmm, good question. Um, I mean, I, I think that there was just so many moments when we were watching um, the film back at the end that we were pleasantly surprised that things turned out so good. Like for example, the fight scene, it is so good. I mean, it looks like, you know, multi, multi-million dollar, you know, fight scene. Um, and we're lucky because we did have somebody that choreographed it that does do those really um, high budget films. Mm -hmm. So I think that made the difference, but when you're there and you're seeing, you know, the fake punches and whatnot, and you, you don't, you're not seeing the whole, you know, picture, but when we saw it finished, it was like, wow, this is so good. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the whole thing from start to finish, you never know who to trust, who <laughs> to be concerned for, who to yeah. root for. It's just a thrill ride through and through. What do you think it is about this movie? That's just going to make it a time honored fan favorite horror flick. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I just hope it is. I hope that it becomes one of those cult classics that everybody loves. And, you know, I go to all the uh, horror conventions, right. And I sign autographs, you know, for different horror films I've done and whatnot. And, you know, there's all these people that go to sign autographs from, you know, like who knew, like, like sleepaway camp, right. Oh my gosh. Sleepaway camp has like the biggest cult following, like all these little movies that, never even like was probably in a theater right but they've got this wonderful cool following and for me that would be my dream if this film could have that following where people just love it and I'm really hoping it is that film a lot of people say that takes them back to to being in the drive-in in the late 70s and, yes. and that's the feel that I I love and I'm hoping that it portrays um and it continues to portray so um that would be great if people can continue to say that and really feel that. What kind of fan response have you been getting then from people who watch Wineville and really seem to connect with it as far as, you know, finding it such an intense thrill? I told you, start to finish. It, yeah. It's just, you know, your heart just does not stop because yeah. there's no, <laughs> there's no beat yeah. to, to Yes. Well, that is one of the big things that people have been saying is that, so many twists and turns like I wasn't expecting that and that's what I love and for me in a horror film when I'm watching I don't want to predict the whole thing so you're like oh that's predictable that's predictable right. I love that people are being surprised and they're not expecting what happens in this film that has been um one of the greatest things I've been hearing uh, I love that people love the plot they're like wow a horror film with a plot you know <laughs> I love that I'm hearing that and I love hearing the that it is taking them back and it feels nostal nostalgic to the late 70s films. So those are the three top things that I've been hearing that I'm just so ecstatic. It hits about. all the marks for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's next for you then? Have you been busy planning what you'll direct or maybe even star in at this point? Um, well, right now we've been, now that we're finished and we were 
doing the film uh, film festival circuit, you know, outselling the film. Um, but in the meantime, my next project is a series. Um, it's a little bit more of a serious tone because it's it's about um, uh, trafficking, um, whether tra children, men, or women, but about trafficking. But that's kind of next on the agenda. I probably would will not be directing it. Maybe one episode, possibly. Um, but obviously, for sure, producing it and give myself one tiny little role. I'm not going <laughs> to go through all that where I have such a huge role and double a, duty. Sounds like it was tough. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a lot of work, but I'm so glad I did it because now it's like, you know, it's my baby. I get to do exactly what I want with it, you know? And if, if anything fails, you know, it's on me. I don't have anyone else to blame. So, um, that's, uh, but yeah, next time I'll just give myself a smaller role, but of course, um, produce the whole thing. Yeah. What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work, whether it's on screen or behind the screen? Um, I just would love it if everybody would go and follow Wineville movie on all the social media platforms that way when it's out i want everybody to go watch it and that would be i would love it if everyone would go watch it and talk about it and tell your friends tell your family uh, because this really was a labor of love it's something i'd always wanted to do and um you know horror is like my favorite genre you know it's just it's something i've always wanted to do so i want to share it with everybody